Oh, just gonna check this place. The hell? Tell you what, they've been coming here since 2007, 2008. They still have that. They used to have that set up over here. So, of course, when you'd walk by, that was the thing you seen out of the corner of your eye. Always scared the hell out of you. Here's a little. Place is so I would love to own this place. There's Tommy in there walking around. A little breakfast nook. I really don't know what a breakfast what a breakfast nook is, but that's what they call it. I Me, mean, it looks like a table, but I don't get it. Dining room table. Now, how come they don't call this like a dining nook? I don't know. If you guys know, go ahead and comment down below. That way I don't feel as stupid. There's a huge kitchen. Oh, would love to be. As you can see, they haven't taken down the uh, Christmas decorations yet. It's kind of Christmassy. Head upstairs. Over here's the George suite. This is where Tommy's staying. Tommy's staying in a haunted room. Bathroom. I'll show you that in a second. Kale has stayed in this room before. He said he was up all night because of noises coming out of this uh, out of this closet. Really, nothing in here. Always sounds like uh, things are being dropped or moved around in here. Over here. Bathroom. Uh, Kale and I. Oh, a little blue robe. Kale and I were sitting in here one night, you know, lights out, just kind of getting a feel for the room. And we literally heard footsteps coming from this room, coming through the, the bathroom here towards us, but uh, didn't see anything. Oh. Little empty fridge. Oh, bottle of water. And then you got this room back here. There's a little jacuzzi. This room, I've, I've, I've stayed in every room except for the one up on the third floor where I'm staying tonight. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But never had anything happen in this room. Sounded like something moving around. But now this room is active. And then... Okay. I just heard something over here. Ooh. 
Glad Tommy's staying in this room. Of course, the floors creak a lot. Here's the gold suite. This room is said to be haunted. Um, I don't remember who is it. I think, I believe they say that there's a spirit in this room named Susie. Ooh, I would get on that scale, but that would be all kinds of embarrassing. Huh. Hopefully, you know, if you guys see anything or hear anything during these, you know, during the video, uh, please, you know, comment down below. Even put a time that you heard it or seen whatever you've seen. That way I can go back and look at it because I, I miss a lot of stuff when I'm editing. Oh, Jesus. Creepy dolls. Here's the stairs that lead down the back of the kitchen. And then you got the third floor up here. And this is this floor. I have a lot of personal stories on here. Um, well, right up in this room, right here to the left, this was, uh, this was a room that, uh, they had a, a, a lady that worked here and she kind of lived here. Her name was Tanja. She just, uh, she passed away last year and this place was like her life. Such a, she was such an awesome person. Okay, so here's like a little community bathroom. I always hate walking in the bathrooms in the shower curtains closed because I always think there's someone back there. Let's go check. Okay. So we were doing a... We had a group in here one time and we were, uh, you know, I had to like little meet and greet, you know, people had some speakers here and then we took, took some people on a little ghost hunt and stuff like that. Well, we were up here and this room, this is the blue room, this room supposedly, and you know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of activity in this room. Um, we tried to go in there earlier but it's it's locked but uh so we had to group up here and we were going to go in there and like do some EVPs or something like that and the door was closed so we knocked and someone on the inside was like yeah so we figured out someone's in there they got a group of people in there so uh we went into this room over here and I don't know you know we were all sitting in there sitting on the end of the bed there and there was a you know we kept the door open and uh, we were sitting there so this other this other uh, couple had had come upstairs and they got about this far and uh, they were talking to us and then they uh, they asked if we had gone into the blue room and we said no because some people were in there and the guy stood there and was like, no, there's no one in there. And I said, yeah, the door was closed and we knocked and he said, no, the door's wide open. So I got up off the bed, came over here and lo and behold, the, the, the door was wide open. There was no one in there. And as you can see the hallway here, the lights are always on. You can hear me walking. I mean, you'd hear somebody, you know, walking down the hallway to leave. So I don't know. Here's the, the Gwyneth sweet. This one's really nice. <clears throat> um, this one has activity in it also. Nice little jacuzzi tub. Um, 
I, I have stayed in here. I never had anything personal happen to me here. And then, a nice little, little decent sized bathroom. Little flower power toilet over there. Oops. And then this is the room that my wife and I are staying in tonight. This is supposed to be the most active room. Oh, this, this room, this one kind of hits me personal because there was a time we had a, we had a, we did, we were doing another little event here, had a group here and like I was standing right or you know right here up against the wall this little table wasn't here and this table wasn't here at the time and i had a guy sitting over here at the end on the floor like he was laying on the floor right here and um we had the lights out door was closed and he had said that he felt like someone was pushing on his foot and so i'm standing over here all the girls in the room were sitting right on the end of the tub here and a guy that was over by the sink turned his flashlight on and there was a woman like where my suitcase is there was a woman standing right there above his feet and she just kind of took a couple steps and she walked this way and you know the guy turned his flashlight off i didn't think nothing of it and um yeah, the kid on the floor said something and all the girls started laughing well all the laughter was coming from over here and uh, so, I mean, you look, I'm sitting here. The only way to get from over there to right here would be to either walk right past me or back behind the bed. But still, there'd be no way to, you know, you'd hear someone climbing over the bed. And um, when you turn the lights out, you see the street lights outside those windows there. And I don't know. I mean, I, I remember it like it was yesterday and what she was wearing. And so I, we turned the lights on and... It didn't match up with any of the other females that were in the room, you know, the clothing and stuff like that. So, you know, did I see a ghost? I don't know. But I'm going to stay here tonight. I don't know where my wife is. She's hiding somewhere. So, yeah. There's the tour of the place. Some of these photos are creepy. See, they're in here hanging out. Yeah. Taking a rest. Seeing if anything wants to talk to us tonight. Yeah. You know me. That's what I do. I'm recording. There's Tommy playing Angry Birds or something on his phone. And <laughs> oh, I. My I wife probably playing on Facebook. No, oh, Candy Crush. Oh, mm -hmm. see, Candy Crush. Thank you. 
Even when I came upstairs, screams are kind of spooky. Handprint in the window. <laughs> Looks to be about the size of a maybe a small adult, young adult. All right, we're gonna go down in the basement here. Christmas stuff still hanging up. I'll turn my light up a little bit. Now here, here's the bar. Got Tommy's hearing aid. A bar, and a bar down here. In the past, I've heard. Uh, like a male voice coming from like this back corner here. Okay, I thought I just heard something, but maybe not. Over here's like the stage and area. They do a lot of like murder mystery little uh, productions down here. Creepy bathroom. Back here, I'm going to show you what they call the the catacomb. Um, back here, we have heard female voices, usually coming from back in this area over here. Now, a lot of it's used for storage. Yeah, this place here. This is a more storage room. Oh, ouch. Okay. Is that a stuffed, a stuffed animal of a cat? Oh, and of course, I jumped back right into this big case here. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Okay. Oh, that, that literally scared the crap out of me. Tripping over stuff. Back here. Oh, come on. Mannequin heads and stuff. Oh. Whoa. A lot, of, a lot of cool stuff back here looking trying to figure out like this is like a little room can't really get in here because all the stuff oh. <sighs> okay all these mannequin heads I'm done I'm getting out of here back here um I guess this place, you know, according to its history, um, at one point it was a at one point it was a a, a speakeasy owned by a by a, a mobster actually, um, in which going through the research, it got some kind of uh, ties with Al Capone stuff like that. But back here, and this is where they call the catacombs, old wheelchair, but. 
along this wall here. And now I got some kind of padding or whatever, but this used to be a tunnel that led underneath was, um, Wisconsin Avenue, uh, the main street out there. And I don't know where it led to. If it was like, you know, people have, you know, claimed that, you know, people were buried. What is that? Just heard sounded like a piece of metal hitting the floor. And actually, one time we were here and uh we had come through the doorway over there. We we're just walking through here. Matter of fact, right in this area. And my friend, you know, we heard something hit the ground. We look, his back is kind of red, he has a red mark, and there's a salt shaker sitting right on the floor. Um, so I don't know if, like, it was thrown at him, or it was kind of weird. But just now, it sounded like something metal hit the floor. Okay, well, go back through here. But yeah, so there's all kinds of stories of, you know, where their bodies back, you know, back in that tunnel, and now it was all bricked up, and can't get in there, but... In the past, we've gotten some really good EVP, like, you know, audio clips on a recorder from down in that basement. Um, best one sounded like a little kid asking where his mommy was. See, I'm going to leave this toy right here. Feel free to play with it. You can talk, whatever. 